taking a look at the spec sheet for the MP-120A mini power pack, we discover right off the bat that they're claiming it's regulated 24 volt DC. This is not correct or it wouldn't be reading 29 on the meter. So let's have a look at what's probably in the power pack. This is about the simplest power pack ever. You're going to have a little transformer to step down the AC voltage coming in, a rectifier bridge, and a capacitor. And that is probably all that is inside this thing. Then you're going to have a relay here to switch the line voltage to the lighting. Here's the blue line that has to be connected to the red line to fire that relay. And there may or may not be a relay driver, which would be simply a transistor. But despite the fact that it says regulated here on the front sheet, if we go to the section marked specifications, we will discover that it in fact says full wave rectified and filtered unregulated, and that each of the sensors by this company contain a voltage regulator. So the deal on this is this is a hazardous power pack to use on anything that isn't rated up to at least 30 volts. And many low voltage 24 volt DC devices do accept a supply range of 12 to 30 volts. So here we show our simple hookup with the uh, little red plus 24, the little black 24 volt common, and the blue control line. And that is it. So if you are going to use this, uh, first of all, you're going to require a different power pack part number depending on the line voltage that you're using. These are voltage specific. And pretty iffy to be using this on anybody else's equipment. And I do believe this is like a legacy sensor, so you probably don't want to be using it for anything modern. But it is good for us to look at it so that we can see the differences in power packs from a very simple one like this to the more sophisticated watt stopper.